In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a parameter to swap between different uh, dimensions and measures. Uh, for example, in this case, I've created a very simple view which shows the cells for different product subcategories. And in such views like this one, I can be able to use a parameter to empower users to uh, change the measure that is used to visualize the view. For example, you can use a parameter to change this measure from, let's say, sales to something else like profit or discount or quantity. And the same you can do for the dimension subcategory, whereby you can use the parameter to change this dimension to another dimension such as uh, region or segment. And therefore, in this class, we're going to see how we can be able to uh, achieve that. And to do that, first of all, I'm going to create my parameter. So to do that, I'm going to open this drop down menu and select create parameter. And let's rename this parameter dimension parameter. Or rather, this is the parameter I'm going to use to select uh, the dimensions. And in this case, I'm going to use a string whereby I'm going to have a list of strings whereby for this case I need the user to be able to choose between uh, region that is dimension region also segment and uh, subcategory so this particular dimension parameter contains those three dimensions let me click OK and show it in the view by simply coming here and select show parameter and now you can be able to see the parameter is visible in the view next i'm going to create another parameter in this case a measure parameter and to do that let me come here again and select create parameter let's call it measure parameter or rather this is the parameter which will be used to select the different measures and again uh, the data type of this parameter is a string whereby i'm going to set it as a list and for this case, I need the user to be able to select the following uh, measures. That is profit, then sales, and also discount, and lastly, uh, quantity. Let me click OK and also make the parameter visible on the view. And now you can see we have two parameters. However, you're going to see, or rather you're going to realize that when you select uh, a particular measure or dimensions within these parameters, nothing happens on the view. And this is because we've not yet linked our parameters with the fields. And to do that, we're going to require, or rather we're going to need to create calculated fields. So let me create a calculated field. And I'm going to call this calculated field dimension, calculation whereby in this case i'm going to use this calculation i'm going to say if the dimension parameter is equals let's say region that is the current selection then i need tablet to use uh, the field region else if the dimension parameter is equals uh, the second one is segment then I need tablet to use the field segment else if the dimension parameter sorry the dimension parameter is equals subcategory then in that case let's tablet use uh, the field subcategory and of course I have to close my calculation so basically uh, uh, something looks weird here if the dimension region is equals region then region else if uh, this one should be else if and now you can see the calculation is valid so this particular calculation is linking our parameter and the fields in the data set so let me click ok and again i'm going to create another calculated field which is going to link the measure parameter with the measure fields and to do that first of all let me call it measure calculation 
And I'm going to use this formula. I'm going to say if the measure parameter is equals profit, then let's table use the failed profit. Else if the measure parameter is equals, let's say sales, then use sales. Else if the measure parameter is equals discount, then let's use discount. Else if the measure parameter is equals, I think should be quantity, quantity, then let's use quantity. And I'm going to close my calculation. So this particular calculation is linking our parameter measure with these fields, that is the measures. And now let's add this particular calculation to the view. So I'm going to replace sum of cells with measure calculation. And also I'm going to replace the subcategory with dimension calculation. And now as you can see, uh, let me label it. And as you can see from this view, the active selection on the parameters are region and profit, which are the same fields used to create this view. And you can be able to select other dimensions and measures as you need from the parameter. For example, I can change this one from region to something else, let's say subcategory, and automatically you're going to see that will change from the view. And of course, I can also change the measure uh, to something else rather than profit, let's say something else like sales, and that way the view will change to show uh, the subcategory by sales. And you can be able to select other dimensions and measures as you wish uh, to see what is the current status of those different measures and dimensions. And basically, that's how you can use a parameter to swap between dimensions and measures in Tableau. Thanks, everyone.